Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha wants education stakeholders across the country to be more proactive in the planning for the reopening of schools. Professor Magoha says for a decision to be reached on the date of examinations and the new timetable, school heads and teachers will have to share their views before coming to a consensus. Uh, examination dates and the new timetabling will come back to you. We are not going to say this is the way it's going to happen because it has to be suitable for everybody. This is, these are not normal times. Every aspect. So even with regards to how we are going to decide for our children to come back and sit in school. Mm. If we are going to take a risk, we shall take it together. 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 So that you don't say the government has said. The Education Cabinet Secretary who visited Kakamega Primary School on Sunday to inspect the school water supply capacity, among other school reopening preparedness measures, also noted that there has to be concerted efforts from both ends to ensure the safety of school-going children in containing the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic when schools open. It is the duty of government to provide thermogans. Huh? Are we not clear about that? But what I've said is that us together with you people, we shall apply the thermoguns. Because the government is not like it was two years ago, so that there is money where you just apply and it comes. The question we are haggling about with now is whether or not our children who are below 60 years should be wearing masks. Every child in, back in school must wear masks. So the government is thinking of producing two masks which are washable. Professor Magoha also urged leaders and well-wishers to step in and assist schools within their localities to acquire essentials through donations and grants in order to complement government's efforts in reopening of schools. Where there are no water tanks, and there are very few schools, the government shall ensure that those schools have water tanks. But you have heard me encouraging the, the MPs to do the same. If they do the same, then it releases the money that the government has to help us to ensure that each school has sanitizers. If there's any school that doesn't have enough toilets, it gives us the opportunity to divert that money to improving <coughs> the toilets. Kamche Menza, Fortune 1 News.